Hi, this is Scott Kilo Sierra 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and I'm back with another Yaesu VX6 Operator Series video. In the last video, I showed you how to do a uh, reset to full factory settings, and the reason for that is the radio you see before you is currently in the same state that your radio will be when you receive it uh, from UPS or FedEx or whatever and take it out of the box for the very first time. So what I want to do before I get into starting to program in memory channels and, and whatnot, uh, there's a couple of settings you're going to want to address just to make your life a little less frustrating and irritating. Uh, and that has to do with the squelch level and beeps and lamps and things of that nature. So let me go ahead and turn it on and show you what I'm talking about. So to turn the radio on, of course, we're going to long press the power button. And uh, you can kind of hear it's breaking squelch. Now, the reason for that is, and I'll go ahead and turn that down so we're, we stop hearing that, but every time you see that uh, green LED right there, it means it's breaking squelch. So from the factory, the radio comes set on uh, 144 megahertz, and the reason that it keeps breaking squelch is from the factory, the squelch level is set to 1, which is pretty low, and that means just about any random uh, RF is, is going to uh, break your squelch and, and cause this to continue happening. If you don't do something about it right away, the entire time you're going through programming this radio, it's constantly going to be breaking squelch. So the first setting that we want to adjust is we want to adjust our squelch setting. To do that, we're going to short press the FW key, and then we're going to, right after that, press the MONI key. So I'm going to press and press. Now that takes us to our squelch level setting. So our channel selector knob is now our item selector knob. So to change that setting, I'm just going to turn to 3. And at that point, I'm just going to press the PTT. And now we should be at a squelch setting of 3. Let's go ahead and verify that. Short press and press the Monty key. And there we go. We're on squelch level 3. So it shouldn't be uh, breaking the squelch on us constantly from this point forward. The next thing I want to address uh, is the beep. Uh, I'm not a big fan of radios that beep, um, particularly when I'm doing a lot of programming operations. That constant beeping gets really annoying. Um, plus, you know, just from a, a noise discipline standard, you, you don't want your radio to make any noises that uh, you don't absolutely want it to make. So, um, we're going to do that by entering the set menu, and we're going to make a couple of, of other adjustments while we're there. Uh, but to enter the set menu, as a reminder, we're going to uh, short press the FW key, and then we're going to press the zero or set key. So let's go ahead and do that now. And now we're in our set menu. The first, we're at item one, APO. I'll talk about that later. In fact, I'll talk about, at some point or another, I'll talk about every setting on this menu or most of the settings on this menu. For now, we're just going to confine ourselves to the ones that are relevant to what we're talking about. So what I want to do here is eliminate my beep. So I'm going to go to selection number, and again, I'm using the item selector knob here. I'm going to go to number seven, which is beep. And at that point, I'm just going to press the zero key again. And that lets me go into the selection. And then from there, I use that same knob and I can select on or off. In this case, I, I want it off. So I short press and it takes me back to the menu, or rather short press is zero, it takes me back to the menu. And I can go and make some other adjustments if necessary. But at this point, the beep is now turned off. If I wanted to, though, and leave, if I left that beep on and I actually wanted to turn that level up, I could go to uh, section 9 and actually turn it up all the way to 9. It comes set at 5. Um, but it, in this case, what I want to do next is just make an adjustment to the lamp. And what I'm going to do here on the lamp is it comes currently um, set from the, from the factory here. Let me find the setting here. Um, so we go to lamp. It's item number 33, and we short press to 0. So it's currently set to key so that if I turn a knob, um, it'll actually activate the lamp. And then I can also set it to uh, activate the lamp when I'm going through scan or if it receives a transmission. So it'll activate and it'll stay on for just a little bit and then turn off again. But while I'm programming, I like to have that lamp on the entire time so it doesn't keep dropping out on me. So what I want to do here once I've, uh, I'm, I'm in that selection now, I want to go from key to continuous. We also have the selection of off. So key, continuous, or off. So I'm going to go to continuous because I want the lamp to be on the entire time. So I'm going to short press that zero. And at this point, I'm going to exit. So now I've killed my beep. I've got my lamp turned on all the, the whole time. It's really kind of hard to see under the lighting, but the lamp is, in fact, on. Um, and that's pretty much it at this point. Now I'm kind of ready 
to begin programming in uh, memory channels and, and whatnot. So that will be the next video. So I'll go ahead and cut it at this point. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott Kilo, Series 6, Delta Alvi Yankee from Southwest Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.